So now these are gonna hatch in a couple of days. And we didn't candle any of them, so we have no idea how many are gonna hatch or how many are duds. So that's why I was being very careful putting those in there because if you crack open one of those eggs that aren't fertile, <laughs> just thinking about so it is Saturday, night before Easter, and we've been gone all day. We just got home, and we haven't even heard chirping yet, but now, There's what do we got? Three oh, chicks. chicks. Oh, I think there's not. Chicks in there. They hatched a, a day, day early. early. That one, one's pretty much dry. Mm -hmm. The other two are just hatched. Hey. Mm -hmm. You think some will hatch before you wake up? Uh-huh. How many? Um, I think there'll be five total. Maybe. No. How many no. total by morning? How many total by morning? Six, four, four. Four by morning? You yeah. say five? Um, I don't know. Four say six. Four. Four. Six. Eli, how many by morning? Wait, no, ten. Ten. Yeah. Ten? Yeah. Ten, five. How many by morning, Eli? Mm -hmm. Ten? Okay. Happy Easter. Easter! All right, let's see how many. Evan, you gotta go close to count. One, one two, two, three, four. Four total. Are and you sure? One's pecking. There's two. definitely some pecking going on. They're supposed to be hatching tonight. So who guessed four? No. You guessed five. I think there's still four. Huh? I don't see it. One, two, three. Ooh. Four. Yeah. I see a hole in one bit in the back. Yeah. Hole oh, yeah. in the back. Oh, yeah. See back there? Oh, yeah. Aw. They're cute. Uh huh. Okay, two black ones and two gray ones. I like the black ones. Grab two live ones. Watch out for their sharp teeth, Leroy. <laughs> this is their new home for a little while. Dip their beaks. Line up down, bud. So who's ready to go pick out some more laying ends from the store? Yeah. We are? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> So, Matt, was it 12 or 16 eggs we put in there? 16. So, so hatch. the hatching rate's not that good, but we have 30-some birds and two roosters, but the one rooster is always pushed off to the side. That other rooster won't let it do anything. Yeah, we only have so. one dominant rooster. So, yeah, I don't know. I think in the years prior, we should separate a handful or so and then put yeah. the rooster with them. Those ones are so cute. Well, and then you can get the same variety too. These are little mutts, but they're cute. Yeah, it'll be fine. They'll be uh, good addition. Hopefully, they're all hens and not in ears. <laughs> I know that's the fear. So if we go to the store, we'll buy. Hopefully, just hens. We'll see what they have. Yeah, I hope. they have straight run. Good. What, what breed? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I know. We'll see what they have. We didn't order any laying hens. I think that's going to be the new way to do it. Do a different breed every year of laying hens so we can tell them apart. Or well, we even, can't hatch one year though. I know. Or or we put leg bands on them so we can tell how old they are. Yeah. I don't know. In case you're wondering, oh, these guys need feed, you guys. Already? Yeah. <laughs> do you feed them like right after it's breakfast? Morning. A breakfast then? So, in case you're wondering. Yes, the first round of meat birds are still in the garage as well. So we got them in two separate spots. They're in like their little kitty corral. I don't know what you call it. Dog pen. <laughs> dog pen. It's like a dog fence thing. Um, and the other ones are in the box that these guys were in. We're just rotating them around. So we'll get some more laying hens hopefully today. We'll share that with you later. These guys seem to be doing well though. We haven't lost any since those initial big... The initial big loss. No, they've been good. I think they're 24. ready for a bigger space, though. Yeah, well, we still have a lot of snow on the ground, so... <coughs> Once that's gone, now the next week it's going to be warmer, so that'll help put them in out there on the grass. Probably have to put a heat lamp in there at night, but get them out of the garage. Huh. 
idea. There isn't any more. It's a bummer. I mean, we could leave them in here for a couple days just in case. Just for feel... one. I, I'm gonna yeah. put some water in there. I feel like, um, pretty sure if they didn't hatch by now, they're not going to, but at the same time, a lot of those hatched pretty early for what we expected, almost a day early, so. Never know, might be one in there a day late. Yeah, they're supposed to hatch sometime yesterday. And so, if they hatch today, that would be. Let's see, I don't know, I'm not. Let's see, I'm not holding my breath. No, I don't think, if any hatch, it's gonna be like one or two, so. We'll see, watch them all hatch. <laughs> we have some bantams, they're so tiny. You might end up with a rooster. So we ran into the store real quick to get our some lane hens. Ran into tractor supply. No go. No go. They did not have anything we wanted. They only had the leg horns and I don't want the leg well, horns. They're a smaller bird. They also don't have any separated pullets. Pullets, whatever. The girls. They don't have any girls. <laughs> so they said they're coming tomorrow though. <laughs> so we're gonna end this video here on a cliffhanger nope. because I think we have the next few videos already done too. <laughs> so maybe next week you'll find out Maybe if we got more laying heads than the four we hatched, which might be boys, might be girls. All right, dear, send them out. <laughs> but you see me again. <laughs> Why is it always me? Because it is me. Why isn't it us? You guys, we gotta do it right. Dad doesn't know how to do it anymore. <laughs> Glad you got to see. Awesome. <laughs> Bye.